Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Uh, today we are going to do some Christmas decorating in our kitchen and a little bit in our pantry area. Y'all always enjoy looking at our pantry and I love sharing it with you all. It's my absolute favorite room in the house. I know that sounds really corny. Uh, I, I love that room. It worked out absolutely perfect. If you ever are going to build a home, a big pantry is absolutely wonderful if you're able to do that. Uh, I, I have enjoyed it and I'm going to miss it once we sell this home. Hopefully the new place will have, you know, a good size pantry. No news on their house. I've had many of y'all message me and ask me and we haven't, you know, sold. I'm thinking, you know, with Christmas time and, and everybody's just kind of, you know, getting into the holiday. So this, this is the time to relax and enjoy family, not to be looking for a new house. So we completely understand that. But we did have somebody come and see the house and they loved all the Christmas decor, which tickles me because I love sharing. I get to share with y'all and I get to share with people that come by and look at our house. So it's fun uh, to do that. I even invited a, several of my friends over to see. So <clears throat> like I said, we're gonna work in this kitchen area. I do. I know if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, my husband made me this really sweet uh, piece that goes over my stove. And I took that out while we had the house on the market and I have truly, truly missed it. So I am bringing it back today because I love my decor on the back of my stove. So this is the piece that my husband made. It's just two by fours. Now this is the very first one he made. So he did have to put feet on it. He measured, um, you know, my husband didn't do any kind of woodwork until we got married and bless his heart. He has learned so much in the five, almost six years that we, <laughs> we have been married. So um, he had to add feet because when he put it together, it was a little bit short. So anyway, it fits directly on the back of my stove. Y'all see that? Look how much more decor area or space that I have to put whatnots. And I love that. I love my noodle. This is called a noodle on your um, stove. I love my noodle. It's, a, it's just plain wood. I didn't want anything on it. I wanted it real country. Honestly, I love it because I can move it to other areas or I can put it back up on the stove and I can use this as countertop space when we have company over and we're having kind of like hors d'oeuvres. So it works out really, really well. And I love my noodle. If you have a flat top surface like we do, these things are awesome. So I haven't really decided what I was gonna do in here yet. I've just kind of got a little bit of stuff show, strode out here, showed out, strode out in here. I'll let y'all see what I've got and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna tell y'all about each individual piece because a lot of my stuff is very sentimental and that's why I put it out. That's why I suggest if you have sentimental items, don't hide them, put them out, let people see them. It doesn't, uh, you know, if you like it, that's your style. So 
let's just leave it at that. You know, and I've said this numerous times. I'm, I'm not really one style. I like traditional. I like modern. I like vintage. So I kind of mix it all together. And honestly, I think that it works for me. So uh, if you like something, I had someone send me a message today and she had made the J-Dot uh, looking ornaments that we made and it was so precious to see someone else use you know the idea that I came up with in their home so y'all can use all these ideas in your home but tweak it to go with your style and that's what I love about design so these pieces are bases that my mother gave me and they had cookies in them and I really think that she bought them at a store excuse me, with cookies in them, can't remember, but I have two of these. They just have plastic lids, and I'm gonna set those on either side. No, I'm gonna put those together. Let me show y'all. So I think I wanna work on this side. This is right as you come in our back door, and it's right coming into our kitchen. So I think I wanna put these two pieces here. And then I went ahead, this is just a jar. You can get these at Walmart. Uh, I've got this salt and pepper shaker that I have in here, and I may change this up. I was trying to find, I had Epsom salt that I used for snow, but wouldn't snow be sweet in the bottom of that with the lid on it? I think so, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So now that I have this back up here, I can display items up here, which I absolutely love. So, but let's work on this area, and then we'll just move across. So I got to thinking about this area over here and I, and I like to be able to just pick things up and move it off where I can clean. So what I decided is I have this really pretty cutting board. And I'm gonna put it right here. I like to leave this area open for my husband to put his keys when he comes in in the afternoon, but I wanted to set these on top now, y'all look at the difference. Now, I love my granite countertops, but sometimes it kind of takes away from your decorations and just rising it up on um, a piece like that really does make a huge difference. I would love to have some kind of piece of something here and we'll think on that. So now let's get back to the stove area. So this is where I put that piece that my husband made me. And y'all, I have missed this thing so much. I'm so happy it's back up there. So I always like to have something with a little bit of height. I did try to hang a um, picture there. And y'all, I don't know what y'all do to keep those 3M sticks, you know, to hang things on the wall. I, I would love to figure out how y'all do that. I never can get them to stay. So I just took the sign down, but I like to have something with height. And now that I have my back piece back on, I could do something. And I have this gingerbread piece that says Seasons Greetings. I bought this many years ago here locally at a local owned shop. And I think I'm going to use these out on either side and then put my gingerbread in the center. Now, I notice a lot of people when they put things out, they'll do them straight forward and that is fine. I just like mine to be a little bit offset. There's just something, it just brings you into the piece. That's just my opinion. Now I do want something with height on either side. So I have this really sweet nutcracker. That's a gingerbread nutcracker. And I'm gonna stick it right here. I started recently uh, putting the year that I purchased the item on the bottom of the piece. I did not do that on this one. That's what I was looking for, but I think I did. Yes, see, I put, I got this in 2010. This helps me remember when, when I got it, how, how old it is. So this piece right here is what, 10, uh, 11 years old, almost 12. So it just, it gets by faster than you think, but then you know what year you bought it. I wish my mother had put some things on the bottom of her item so I could know how old it is. So that I just started doing that recently. I say recently, 2010, but I've started doing that, trying to remember when I purchased an item to see how long I've kept it. So, in which I don't throw away or get rid of much Christmas pieces like this. I will kind of shift my ornaments some, but when it comes to um, like 
tabletop decor, I keep them for quite some time. So I want to do something here, but I don't know quite yet what I want to do, but we'll just kind of keep thinking on that. Now I do have a wooden hood over my stove and um, we'll get on that right now. I have this beautiful Santa plate. This was given to me from my boss's wife. Oh, she's given us tons of Christmas stuff that I absolutely love. So I'm going to use that. I do, it has a ledge up here, but it's got a little bit of a, um, a routed out area up here so I can prop things. So I was going to do my Santa right in the center. And I wanna do something on either side. Now I have these little Christmas trees that I bought from Walmart last year. They came in a pack of three, I believe. They're just like cement pieces down below. They're super cute, have the little tags in them wrapped in a plaid, which kind of goes with our theme in here. So I'm just gonna add these. So this little area over here is just heading into our pantry area. It's got my refrigerator right here. Um, so I'm thinking what I want to do over here. I think I know what I want to do. So now that I have my uh, cutting board piece in here, what I want to do is I have always used these Southern Living cookbooks. Now the reason I use these, it wasn't for the recipes. <laughs> I know that shocks y'all. This was just for decor. I don't know if any of you all used to get these cookbooks. I, I, I got them for quite some time, but in these cookbooks, they have an area for strictly decor. And that's what I would use to get ideas for all the homes that I used to decorate for Christmas. Uh, back then there wasn't a lot of Pinterest, so I had to kind of grab ideas from magazines and books. And these always had the prettiest ideas. I'll, I'll show y'all. This was the 2010 and there was a whole area just for decor. And um, that's what I used to bring ideas to the people that I decorated for um, to decorate their homes with. And uh, it, it gave me a lot of really good ideas. So if you see these in a thrift store, because I know they've been selling them recently, uh, it's a good idea to pick one up. You know, styles with Christmas is pretty traditional. When I say traditional, uh, it'll last a long, long time. So, the and these, even when they become antiques, which this one's a 2010, I think my oldest one here is a 2009, um, you know, these, these become antiques and you could give them to your children. But I want to use these because I haven't used them in a while. They don't do the decor section, I don't believe, in the new Southern Living cookbooks like the Christmas ones. So, I, that's why I quit ordering them. I ordered them every year, so I quit doing that. But what I wanted to do was use it as a base. I have a red and a green and a red and a green. No, I'm gonna do it this way. And then I have my antique scales that I wanted to do here. I have this antique bowl of my grandmother's. And y'all, I used to use this piece for my husband and I to drop our keys in. One day I was looking on Etsy and I realized how much this bowl is valued at. So Nicole will not do that again. It's very precious and you see how I'm holding it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this here. I'm going to take an everyday cereal bowl. Y'all, I know I'm missing lots of bowls and cups because I stick it down in things to help me build my arrangements up but I'm going to put that in the bottom to build up the area so I don't have to fill it so. And then, I've said it numerous times, garland. Just very inexpensive, and this is kind of ugly, but just very inexpensive garland. And stick that around there. See how it kind of hides and it fills the bowl? Then I have these beautiful, antique cookie cutters. This one is round and it has the little red top on it. That's the main reason why I liked them was the red top. But I have, you know, it's just a few of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna put those around, mainly where you can see them. 
And then these silver ones were my mother's and she gave them to me. She, they just have the silver uh, top, but they're very pretty. And so I'm just gonna mix those around. I think I wanna put the heart back here. I spilled some out of the front. I think I like that idea. Then I have these uh, sweet, they're applesauce, cinnamon, and glue. You can look it up on Pinterest. I'll be glad to kind of link it down below if I can. But I have made these numerous times. This is a little girl and this is a little boy. You bake them, you can leave them to, to um, dry if you didn't want to bake them, but they smell good. Uh, they, the scent is kind of going away on them, but what I thought was I could kind of stick them and mess everything up. What I did is I did a little bit of juice, I'm sorry, I did a little bit of um, ticking stripe ribbon or material and I just ripped it and put that on there. Isn't that sweet? I love how I just did one down on the bottom and with the other cookie cutters, that's really sweet. I almost need something right here and I don't know what it would be. I have this really sweet copper and I may just kind of mingle that in here somewhere. That's sweet. All right. I have my other Santa Claus. He's a gingerbread, which goes along with this whole theme. And I think I'm gonna stick him right here in this corner. And that kind of brings your eye away from that, not having anything on it. And I may eventually set something up there, but I love the look of this. I'm gonna let y'all see this area. As y'all well know, I started out with my Santa, the Santa jars over here. And as much as I love them, I wanted everything out here to be more vintage. So I brought my, my beautiful teapots and then hung little gingerbread pieces on them. And I think that is beautiful. And I'm gonna use this in the pantry. If I brought a piece out here, it would probably be my Tom jars. And let me just show y'all. See, I could see using that out here because it's vintage looking, but almost it's a little too much. So I think I'm just gonna move it back in the pantry. So this area is a little bit more tedious to film because it's very, I say narrow in here because of the refrigerator. But I want to do something on this area. Y'all remember I added the buffalo plaid the first part of this year. Look at all of those um, plugs. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of plugs in this pantry. But I also want to put a Christmas tree over in that corner. So let me see if I can get our camera set up and we'll get started on this area here. So in this corner, I thought about doing, I have this really sweet uh, enamel bowl with the blue trim there it is and i thought about sticking that in this corner and i've already got my christmas tree decorated this is a little christmas tree from walmart it's really sweet i've just got some gingerbread ornaments on it i'm gonna stick it in this corner i would love to use this christmas tree in my kitchen however it's a little bit too tall but i'm going to stick it in this corner and it's really sweet right there. And I love it in this bowl. But I want to hide my cord. So I have these antique tins. And I was going to stick them right there. And then I have this really sweet rolling pin. I thought I'd stick them there. I could also take one of my Santa Claus things. So I could take both of them. What if I did this? That's kind of sweet. It looks very rustic. Let me see if I can get y'all close. Now y'all can see it better. That's very sweet. Uh, so I have, I have my antique enamel bowl, my antique rolling pin, the older, I, I wouldn't say these, well, I guess they are considered antique. I think my mother got them back in the 70s or 80s. So they are antiques. 
wait a minute. That means I'm an antique. Oh my goodness. But then I do have these antique uh, tins here that I wanted to use. I think that's a sweet corner. So I'm out kind of middle ways of that table or that long countertop that I have. And I want to do something in this area. And I have this beautiful gingerbread house that my friend gave me. I'm thinking maybe there and then put my bread box next to it. I don't know. I'm not feeling the bread box. It's antique or it's vintage looking, but it's not really. Turn it that way. Put my Tom drawers on the other side. I think I like that better. Move this in between. I'll adjust it 60 gazillion times. <laughs> I think I like it. Let me play with it and then I'll give y'all a final look-see.